All right, so our next product is JoJo's Sriracha Chili Sauce. And this is actually from Brooklyn. It's one of the products that's not from Colorado, but I thought it was so delicious. And I had a great idea for a recipe, so I think you're gonna like this recipe. What we're gonna do is make a beautiful salad. And a roasted carrots and cumin and orange. So this is what we're gonna start with. We're gonna start by grilling some of these beautiful organic tricolored carrots. I'd like to cut them into pieces that would be nice to eat afterwards. So never anything too big that wouldn't fit in your mouth in a polite manner for one of your guests. And of course, we've already scrubbed these carrots. Um, I don't like to peel them. I like to just get them in and scrub them really nice. I think that's the best way. Okay, so just a nice little bias cut on here, anything you like. And then what we're gonna use, we're gonna toss them with a little cumin seed that we've freshly ground. A little salt and a little olive oil. So I have my olive oil right here. I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. You don't need too much because we're gonna grill them. You don't want them to light on fire. And sometimes your girl can do that. A little cumin and a little salt. So just toss those together. And then I'm gonna give these to my lovely assistant, Jarell Grill. I'm gonna take a quarter cup of our sriracha and stir that up into a brown cup. And it has a little bit of heat to it, but I like it. I don't think it's too hot. I think it's just right. We're gonna zest the lime. You guys can see I like a lot of zest. I think zest is one of the best ingredients around. I love the smell of lime zest too. It just smells so fresh and beautiful. When you're doing this dressing with the lime zest, you wanna make it fresh that day or else it won't taste as fresh as that. So we're gonna whisk this together. Get a little towel to hold this bowl in place. And then we're gonna put in our oil. A little bit. Two ounces of olive oil. You can also make this in a blender, it's just fine. But if you just make it a small batch, the bowl is good. Now again, um, a little tiny pinch of salt, but it doesn't need much because the sriracha already has a little salt. Perfect. Okay, so I'll set this aside. All right, beautiful good carrots. So now we're gonna shave some carrots for garnish for the salad. So I like to take my peeler and just put the carrot down, slice them flat, and that's it. When you get to these beautiful ruby carrots, you can see what a nice look this looks in, in a salad. And that's it. So you need a nice sharp peeler. They dig down in here. And these look great. Sometimes at the restaurant, we'll put them in a little ice water to help crisp them up a little bit, just for a minute. But if you're gonna make this salad right away, totally fine just like this. And then you can put all the colors if you like, or just a few, whatever you guys. But everything is fun. I like a little bit of all. So we'll put some beautiful carrots in there. And then, if you remember, one of my favorite ingredients is orange. So I'll do a little orange supreme. So the supreme is when you just take a beautiful little segment out of there. There's no skin, there's no pith. It's a little bit of a talent to do, but when you learn how to do it, I think it's great. So you peel the orange, all the white off, keeping the shape of the orange. We'll throw this away. And then we'll come in and take these off. We'll go on either side. That's the easy way to do it. The harder way to do it is to come down, turn and hit, the, hit that hit line and turn the orange over. And that way you get a little bit less waste. But I'd say for people at home, just come on either side of that thick line and do that. Just a little bit easier for the people at home. And a little bit faster. So we'll have some beautiful orange segments. Our salad. Favorite lettuces on 
have a nice sturdy texture. A little organic mixed greens. And we can't forget our grilled carrots. Our nice texture. And we're going to put a little bit of this vinaigrette in here. Always with the salad, make sure you get an extra pinch of salt. Toss this up gently. Make sure all the dressing gets everywhere. It really has good flavor. It's a beautiful looking salad too. They make this bowl right here. Make sure you see all the beautiful colors on top. And of course, always taste it. Make sure you have enough dressing and it's delicious. It's really good, you guys have tried. This is my favorite one I made. 